to day three of our five-day home workout challenge. So excited that you're here. Let's quickly go over what you'll need to do today's workout. We are doing legs and booty sculpting, a little bit of a bar sequence that I put together just for you guys. So what you'll need is a little bit of space to move in your house or wherever that you are. And of course, I want you to have a chair today. It doesn't have to be a high chair. Uh, I just happen to have kind of a higher chair because that's what I had handy. You could also have any like regular chair or even a stool would work fine too. I've got a couple of weighted objects, props. I've got some dumbbells in case you have dumbbells at home, that works great. Or you can use water bottles, water jugs. We won't be using them much, but they're a nice little prop to have. So we're gonna get right into this. Are you guys ready? Let's get into this. Come on down to your mat and come into a tabletop position. We're gonna start out with a little core and booty warm up. So make sure that your hands are stacked just below your shoulders. Knees should be stacked just below your hips. Maybe just walk yourself around a little bit. See how you feel in your position here. And we're gonna go ahead and start out by just extending the left leg back. See how that feels. Now bring your left knee into your nose, extend again. Knee to nose and extend. Knee to nose, extend. Nice. Knee to nose and extend. Now hold that leg out straight behind you. And I want you in this position to just notice, is your back arched or do you have a little bit of blueberry spine activation right now? If you don't have that activation, go ahead and add it now. Maybe we can come back down into tabletop, play around a little bit with that core tuck and then go ahead and extend your leg again this time, just being mindful that you're not arching your back or flailing your back around. It's a nice stable base that you're gonna move from. If you feel stable and secure here, you can now extend your right arm forward, holding this position, noticing that it's challenging to balance, and then bring your elbow to meet your knee. And again, elbow to meet the knee, holding that torso very stable and solid building on what we learned yesterday with blueberry spine and having being able to apply it in multiple planes of movement. Great job. And if you are more comfortable just with the leg extension, please do stay there. You do not have to add in the arm piece. That is bonus. Be, be secure and stable in your base. If you're shaky, um, just use the leg. And we're gonna do three more on this side. Two, last, one, and now we're gonna go ahead and plant the right hand back down if you had it up. Go ahead and check back in with your legs. We're gonna go ahead and extend the right leg up and back behind us. Engage your core. Let's go ahead and draw the knee to the nose and extend. Once more, being very mindful that we're not activating our lower back here. We're actually activating through our core so that we can really isolate our booty. That's right. As you isolate and, and protect your back by engaging your core, you'll really turn on your glutes and get even more out of this workout today and out of this warm-up move. From here, if you feel good here, extend your left arm out and then draw your knee to meet your elbow. In and out. We're just warming and toning the core and the glutes, getting ready for what's to come in this workout. Great work. Come on, in and out in and out float the arm forward float the leg back keeping the toe pointed keeping your core tight keeping your gaze in neutral you're doing amazing thanks for showing up today for this workout come on we got this last three last two last one and pause i just got to turn my little timer on so that i don't keep you here for an hour working out not that you'd mind probably <laughs> okay from here I want you to take your knee out to the left. Knee goes out and to the left. We're gonna warm up that side butt. Good. Out and to the left. Out and to the left. Hold your core nice and strong. You don't have to go up super high. If anything, you're coming up to hip height and you don't even have to be going that high. Come on, we got this. Three more of these and then, yes, go ahead and pick up your left arm and bring your, I'm sorry, your right arm, and bring your right arm to meet your left elbow. You got this. In and out. So we're bringing the knee up and out, even as we float the opposite arm up and away from our body. Good. Up and out. For three, 
two, last one. Let's switch sides, and I'm gonna be lifting my right knee up off the ground, just up to 90 degrees. And you may already be feeling this. You may already be feeling the, the soreness, the movement, the warmth, the heat in your glutes, and that is awesome. Keep that up. Three more, two, one. Now go ahead and add, this time for sure, the, the left arm. And we're gonna be floating it out to the side and then bringing the knee in to meet our elbow. Great work, come on, up, in, out, in, out, and in, out, and in. Warming and toning the back, the arms and the shoulders, the core and the legs. You've got this, last one, and back to tabletop, great job. Go ahead and waggle your hips a little bit side to side. Let's do a couple of cat cows just to warm the spine now. Curl your back up towards the ceiling, look down between your feet, and then release. Coming into the cow spine, looking up, arching your back. Really nice job. And then go ahead and take a nice deep breath in from here. And then as you exhale, go ahead and one more cat spine, pressing your back up towards the ceiling, looking between your feet. <sighs> Inhale, come into the cow one last time. Look up, feel your vertebrae in your neck articulate, coming into a nice U shape and relax back to center and we're going to come to standing yes exciting so i want you to go ahead and stand beside your chair putting your hand on the t on the chair back and we're going to come out into a nice wide um, position squat position so our toes are going to turn out and we're going to use our chair as we send our hips back and as each time we come up, we're gonna squeeze the glutes. And you can have your hands uh, both off of the chair, or you can have one hand on the chair. You can float an arm up overhead. We're just warming up the legs. And as you send your hips back, imagine you are sitting down into a chair. Your knees are gonna be tracking in line with your toes. Nice, for an extra challenge, you can float both arms up overhead. Each time you squat it down, squat it back. Engage your core. Each time you come up, lift and squeeze your glutes. Great work. You can move your arms however feels good to you. You can simply have them on your hips, in front of you, on your chair back, whatever you like. Now from here, we're gonna build on this. So you're gonna squat, and then you're gonna lean over your chair and give me a lateral lift. Lean and lift. So you're lifting your left leg up, and you're landing just the way you started. Land and lift. And it doesn't matter, it's okay if your arms are up or down, but for a little bonus oblique action, go ahead and float the arm up each time you squat and reach it to meet your lifting leg each time you do the lateral leg lift. Great work. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Great job. Okay, we're gonna do three more like this. Three, count with me, two, Last one, and on this one, stand, and we're gonna just pulse that leg. Lift, just lift it up. Little tiny pulses, lifting it up. And if you are more advanced, or you want more of a challenge, just add a little bit of pressure with your left hand to the outside of your left leg, and see how you do. Woo, feeling that burn. Oh my gosh, woo, oh man and release. Now before we move on to the right leg, go ahead and turn to face your chair. Oh my gosh, we're gonna step it back with the left leg again, and we're gonna start out in a lunge position. Your knee is tracking in line with your toe. You're just straight up and down. We've been talking about the fact that you're wearing a crown throughout this entire challenge, so don't let your crown fall down. Keep your chest and head up nice and straight and you're just pulsing here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And this is gonna help us even out a little bit on that right leg. You're gonna feel a little bit of work in your right glute. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Now from here, come up, lift your leg up, lift and lift. One down, one up. One down, one up. Nice work, one down, one up. Now two down, so pulse for two, 
up, pulse for two. Down, pulse for two, up, pulse for two. Now when you're coming up and you're down, we want to make sure that our core is staying nice and tight. We're not arching that back. All the work is happening actually in the glutes. Great job. Now we're going to do three, two, one, up, three, two, one, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. Great work. One, two, three, and up, two, three, and down, two, three, and up, two, three. One more time. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Amazing work. Shake out that booty, shake out that leg. One more thing on this side, and then we're going to switch to the other leg. So, stand and maybe bend slightly over your chair. Lift your leg up behind you. Bring your knee out to the side. We're going to start by simply lifting the knee up and out. And you can bring your hand, one hand up overhead. You can bring it back. You can add a little pressure to your outside leg. You have lots of options here. Play around with it. See what feels good, what feels challenging. <laughs> good, lift, 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 little pulses. Lift, 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 and now. Knee comes down to our other knee, and then it comes up and out. Knee, up, up, up. And both of my hands are just lightly contacting the back of my chair. I'm leaned forward slightly, my core is turned on and I'm just lifting and lowering that knee. Great work. Come on, let's go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Now one, two, three, hold it up, pulse, two, three, lower. One, two, three, pulse, two, three, lower. One, two, three, pulse, two, three, and one, two, and three, Pulse, two, three, and lower all the way down. Amazing work. We're gonna switch it to the other side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's start again with those nice wide plie squats. So feet turn out, we hold on to the back of our chair. This time with our left arm. Arm can come up overhead, we send our hips back. We come to stand. And this time, if you'd like, you can lift up onto your toes with this wide plie lift. You can bring your arm out, you can bring both arms out, you can bring them up. I just want you to really pay attention to each time you squat down, your core comes in and up, your butt squeezes when you lift up, and you optionally are lifting up off of your heels each time you come up. Last three, last two, last one, and we're gonna add that lateral leg raise. So find a comfortable position beside your chair, and we're gonna step out wide, plie, lateral lift, plie, lateral lift, great work, come on. Lift, and plie, lift, and plie. Now we're gonna add in that oblique crunch, float the arm, and then reach the arm to meet your lifting leg. Great work, rock stars, come on, lift, this is a low impact, total burn. You're gonna feel this in all the right places. Oh my gosh. Lift, really be mindful of your form throughout this entire sequence. So key for getting the best results. Lift, lower, and lift. Last three, two, and one. On this one, let's hold the lateral leg up and give me a few pulses here, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn to face your chair. Woo! <laughs> this time, right leg is gonna step it back into that reverse lunge. Let's set ourselves up in the reverse lunge. We've got our crown on, nice and tall. Our core is nice and engaged. Our knees are lined up at a 90 degree bend. And we're pulsing, pulse, pulse. Pulsing, great job. You got this, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to stand, lift the leg. Lifting the leg with control, squeezing the butt without arching the back. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, yes, you're doing amazing. Keep it up, lift 
and lower power squat with a leg extension. And we're holding on to our chair so that we can be perfect in our form. Great work. Now you know what happens next. We're gonna lift for two. We're gonna pulse in our lunge for two. Lift for two, pulse for two. Great job, lift, lower. One, two, up, two, down, two. Up, two, keep that leg straight behind you. Keep your crown on when you come into your lunge. One, two, up, two. And this side, your left butt may be feeling even more tight and sore than your right side did. That's because it just finished working. So we're gonna add three. One, two, three down. One, two, three up. One, two, three down. One, two, three up. Great work, come on. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do three more, just like this. One, two, three. Two, two, three, up, two, two, three. Last one, you can do it. Three, two, three, up, three, two, three. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Shake out those legs. And you know what happens next, of course. We're gonna gently lean forward over our chair back bringing our left knee up and out to the side. From here, we're gonna add some little pulses. Knees just gonna come up and pulse to the right. Lift and lift. And yes, you can totally put your hand on the side of your outside leg that's lifting if you want a little extra challenge here with that pressure. Great work. Oh my gosh. Oh, feeling it in that left glute that's holding us up. Okay, release the knee down. Now bring it straight back up. Lift all the way down, all the way up and out. All the way down, all the way up and out. Great work, come on, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower and lift. So good, so strong, keep it up. Lift and lower. Now from here, we're gonna lift two, three up, and then we're gonna do one, two, and three, on the third one, we pulse for three, and then we do three more. One, two, and three. Lift for three, two, one, and pulse, and up. Two, three, and pulse. Two, three, and down. One, two, and one, two, three, and down. One, two, and three, two, one, and release. Whew, feel that, oh my gosh. Last little sequence, we're gonna kick that straight leg back behind us. Kick it back, kick it back, back and back. So good, back and back. Last time, come on, 10. Hold your back nice and strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last. One, amazing work. How are your glutes feeling right now? I bet they're feeling a little sore. Hey, just completed your first two sequences. <laughs> Go ahead and have a little water. Give yourself a quick breather. Give yourself a little pat on the back because you just did awesome. Mm. Now we're gonna come into a little bit of calf action, a little bit more side booty. And these are super fun. Make sure that you have your weighted objects handy. Uh, you can go ahead and put them up on your chair just so that they're easier to reach for when you want them, whatever you find the most helpful. So we're going to start this series out with some calf raises. And if you'd like to add additional resistance, you may. You can hold your weighted objects up on your shoulders. Or if you find that you'd like to just do the workout holding on to the side of the chair, that's great too. We're going to be coming out into a wide plie and sinking it down and playing around with heel raises. So if you've done this with me before, you know how challenging it is for those inner thighs. Weighted objects are totally optional. Do what supports you. Come into a straight upright position with your feet out nice and wide. Sink your hips back. From here, let's pulse in place for five, four, three, two, one. Lift your left heel for five, four, three, two, and one. Sink it down, lift your right heel for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna alternate. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Sink both heels down, come all the way up. Quick breather, lower down, lift up, squeeze your butt. A couple of simple thigh lifts up and down just to reset. And we're gonna repeat. Sink all the way down, pulse, two, three, four, five. Lift the left heel, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the right heel, five, four, three, two, one. Alternate sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All the way up to standing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this one more time and I have to set my weights down because my thighs are on fire. I'm gonna do one last set, body weight only. Join me. We're gonna start out just by resetting. Squeeze, lift, track those knees out and align with your toes and sink it all the way down. Pulse, two, three, four, five. Lift the left heel for five, four, three, two, one. Lift the right heel, one, two, three, four, five. Alternate sides, one, two, three, four. You can do it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh my gosh, amazing work. All right, we're gonna face our chair. <sighs> you guys feel that? I feel this in my inner thighs for days after I do that. Holy moly, such a good workout. Here we go, we're gonna stand up tall, and remember you wanna have your weighted objects handy for this one. We're gonna start out without any though, and they're totally optional. We're gonna hinge forward just a little. We're gonna engage that core, and we're gonna go ahead and put our left heel at a 90 degree bend to our right heel. So your feet are kind of like perpendicular to each other. And then you're gonna turn your body to face forward. From here, you're gonna lift that heel up and out at a 45 degree angle. Nice, lift up and out. Now if, you, if it feels better to you and you have clearance when you come down, you can point your toe each time you lift and then bring your heel back perpendicular to your standing heel each time you bring it down. So you're getting a little bit of ankle mobility each time you come up by pointing the toe and then flattening the foot each time you bring it down. Great work. Now from here, we're gonna slow it down a little bit Grab a weighted object, make sure you have enough space for this. And each time you lift your leg, I want you to lift your arm up and out to the side. Yes, just getting a little bit of extra rhomboid and trapezius mobility and strength in our back, lifting up and out, a little bit of mid deltoids, a little bit of the shoulder action. How is that right standing leg doing? Is it starting to feel sore? I bet. And I'm using a very light weighted object here, just maybe like two or three pounds, my water bottle. That's all I need to really feel some activation in my back. Keep up the great work with that 45 degree lift. You've got three more to go. Three, two, and one. You can go ahead and set your weighted object down. We're not quite done on this left leg. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead, lift it out to that 45 degree angle, extend your arm up, in front of you, and then crunch your knee to meet your elbow. Crunch and extend. Crunch and extend. Beautiful. Crunch, extend, crunch, extend, crunch and extend. You got this. Come on. Last 10, 9, go a little faster. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last 1. Quick little break. Holy moly, <laughs> how did that feel? Let's try that on the other side before we put everything together. And I'm just gonna stay here because my weights are all on my chair. So I'm gonna stay facing this way. So we're gonna begin again. We're gonna hinge it forward. We're gonna make that right heel perpendicular to our standing forward facing left heel. And we're gonna lift it up and out to 45 degrees. And you can add in that toe point, point the toe, and then bring the heel back to flat each time it comes back to meet the other foot so that you get that bonus ankle mobility. Keep your core nice and tight here. You should feel the outside edge of your butt working. You can go ahead and put your hand there to feel the muscles actually activating. 
Great job, and that's a good thing to do. Feel what's activating so that you can activate it even more. That mind-muscle connection is essential. Okay, we've got five, four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and grab your lightweight object, and we're gonna lift it out to the side with each leg lift that we do. Really working to maintain our stable core position, our strong, stable base, Keep your gaze in front of you. Really nice job. And you're bent forward maybe 45 degrees or so. It's fine if you have a different type of chair than me. Maybe your hand is a little bit lower than mine, but you can control how far forward you're bending very easily. Great work, come on. Lift and lower, lift and lower. You got this. Woo! Oh, last five, four, three, Two, I'm feeling it too. You're not alone. One, set the weighted object down. Oh, quick break. <laughs> and now we're gonna go ahead and lift that leg up and out to the side, 45 degrees as we extend our right arm up in front of us. And then we're gonna crunch elbow to knee. Crunch and crunch. A lot of bonus core in today's workout for you. Just for you, because we got this. Come on. Yes, we got 10, go faster, eight. Nine, <laughs> I can't count. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come back to the left leg now and put all of those moves together. I know just what you were hoping I would say, right? <laughs> so exciting. Here we go, hinge forward just a little bit. Extend that left arm up. We're gonna do a lift to 45 degrees, tap it down. Crunch, lift, crunch, lift, crunch, lift, crunch. And I advise that you keep your toe pointed for this one and your leg is coming up and out 45 degrees. Great work, come on. Lift, crunch, lift, crunch. So good. This is just you and your body today. Just, just you and you. You versus you, that's what it always is about, right? I know a lot of us are spending a lot of time in our house right now. Maybe like me, you're spending a lot of time alone. And we really do have to face ourselves. So my best advice is to be your own best friend. Be that advocate for yourself. Think about what makes you happy, what makes you feel strong and powerful and resilient, and do those things. Nourish your body with whole foods. Go to bed early on purpose. <laughs> Just take the best care of yourself possible. If you notice you're getting stressed, think about what would give yourself a hug. You know, do some breathing. Do some dancing like we did yesterday. Last three. Last two. Last one. And of course, my best remedy is Stop, Drop, and Betty Rock. You can just come turn on any of my videos anytime. <laughs> and if you're in Rock Your Life, you can come join in the community and talk to us anytime. We're starting a Make Fat Cry Challenge 2 in Rock Your Life. April 1st, so excited for that. Um, and you're so welcome to come join that party if you are looking for something fun to do in April that will motivate you daily. All right, we ready? We're gonna move to the other leg. We're gonna extend it up and out. Extend that left, right arm up and out. Tap it down and then crunch. Lift and crunch. Lift and crunch. Beautiful work. Strong legs, strong glutes. These are the muscles that carry us. And what we're doing today is really mindfully engaging that core, protecting the back, isolating the glutes so that we can safely get stronger. Really excellent work. Come on, lift and crunch, lift and crunch, lift, crunch, lift and crunch. So strong, crunch and lift. Last five, five, four, four, Three, three, two, two, one, and one. Holy moly. Oh, booty on fire. Oh my gosh. How are you doing? Are you feeling it? <laughs> Holy cruel. That was awesome. Okay, I have one last move that I just have to add in before we come down to the floor and do our floor series. I just love this sequence. I love, love, love it. What we're gonna do is stand tall facing our chair. 
We're going to draw our left knee up to our nose, curling our head down, and then we're going to extend back, putting it all together, extending back without arching the back or hyperextending through the back. We're going to come back, and when you come back, I want you to lift up onto your right toe. Extend back, lift, extend, lift. For an additional challenge, bring your arm up and then sweep it down. Nice. Lift, 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 lift. Crunch it all in, extend it all out. Lift and extend. You're lifting up on your opposite heel each time you bring your knee up to meet your nose. Float the arm for a little extra mobility and grace. Beautiful work. Lift and crunch. Lift and crunch. Lift and crunch. Last three, two, and one. Amazing work. We're going to repeat that on the other leg. So let's start by having both hands on the back of our chair. And we're just going to bring our knee up to our nose and then practice bringing it back without hyperextending through the back. We're keeping a nice stable base so that we can really isolate that glute max. And then on this one, bring it up, lift up onto your toe, crunch it all in, extend. Practice that lift up onto your toes and the crunch. Lift, crunch. If you're feeling secure here, go ahead and add the arm sweep. Lift and crunch. Everything opens, everything closes, and each time on the close, we lift up onto our standing toes. Great work, Rockstar. Just put it all together. Get everything out of it that you came for today. Make this time your own. Your time should always be your own, but it's easy to get caught up in what's happening next or what happened before. Let's be here now together, right now, today, in our bodies, moving them. Yes, focused on what we can control, which is this movement right now. Keep it up. Last three, two, last one, and done. Done with your standing series. Woo! That was loud. <laughs> it's because I have my weights on my chair. All right. Come on down. Now feel free first to grab some water if you like. Hydrate yourself. And I'm sitting here next to my very good protein and my full body collagen because I've been taking very good protein every day. 15 superfoods, amazing. 18 grams of protein, it's plant-based, organic, tastes like strawberry vanilla. This is something I stocked up on as soon as I knew I had to be stuck inside. Couldn't go anywhere. You can get it through my link in my profile on Instagram, or you can get it on my website in the supplement section. Come on down onto your side, elbow steps just below shoulder. We're gonna bend the bottom knee, and we're gonna start with the left left leg extending up. So we're gonna lift and lower that top leg. Now for those of you who'd like to add additional challenge, if your legs are really strong and you know this, feel free if you have ankle weights at home to grab ankle weights and put them on for this quick little sequence for your legs. And if you don't have ankle weights, I'm not wearing any, I'm just gonna press down on the top of my leg to add a little extra resistance here. Great work, come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. I'm gonna come down and rest my hand in my, uh, my head in my hand, and then I'm just bending and straightening my top leg. Come on, let's go. Go ahead and kick it out, keeping your knees just exactly atop each other. Great work, come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, now you're gonna press your heel down and out. Press it down and out, come on. Like you were, like you were pedaling on a bicycle, but just with one leg on your side. <laughs> Weird analogy, right? Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now put it together. We're gonna kick our knee up and out, then we're gonna kick our knee out and down. Up and down, up and down up and down up and down you got it come on kick and kick kick and kick great work last 10 9 
eight, keep your hips lifted, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Bring your knees up towards your stomach, and you're gonna just do a tiny heel kick down and back. Just bringing your knee up towards your nose and then pressing it down and back. Come on, kick it down. Little tiny pulses here, it's not a big kick. It's little, hold your hands in front of you to stabilize yourself. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Really nice job, switch it over to the other side. <sighs> little buns of steel action. <laughs> We're gonna start up, up on our elbow, bottom knee is bent, top leg is straight, and we're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower that leg. And once again, it's great if you wanna add a little bit of additional pressure or maybe you have ankle weights on. This is a really tough series and really awesome for those side glutes, side of your legs. Really nice job, come on, keep it up. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, Lower, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your head down to your hand, get comfortable, and begin with the foot presses. We're just gonna pedal that one-legged bicycle. Kick, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. You got this. Keep it up. Pedaling your bicycle on one leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now kick out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count it down, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna put it together. Kick out, kick down, out, down, out, down. Your toe's gonna remain pointed through this entire series. Great job. Come on, feel the burn in the outside of your hip. <laughs> so good. Keep it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and curl your knees up towards your nose, flatten out your heel, and we're gonna do those tiny little heel presses, just little presses, Press it down, hold your hand in front of you to stabilize you in this position. It's just a little kick, little press. You can do it. Come on. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh my gosh. Come over onto your back and feel free to grab a couple of weighted objects for this next one. Total option here. Come back to your back, and before we start, we're gonna activate blueberry spine, because yeah, I know you learned it yesterday, but if you're just joining us, go ahead and notice the arch and the curve of your lower back. Put a big, fat blueberry, an imaginary blueberry, right at the top at the biggest point of that curve, and then I want you to flatten that blueberry down without totally squashing it. That way you have some controlled core activation. Nice. From here, lift up into a bridge. And you can stay here with regular bridge lifts. I just want you to reset and reactivate blueberry spine each time you come back up. Or you can come to the more advanced version, which is gonna be single leg. So we're gonna do 10 on each side, lifting and lowering. And if you're up for it, go ahead. We're gonna add with the opposite arm. So we're just gonna do a left chest fly each time we lift up on our right leg. So lift. Chest press, sorry, my, my mistake. Chest fly, it looks a little different than this. Lift up and lower down. Reset blueberry spine. It is complicated for sure. You've got a lot to remember. Each time you lift and press, you wanna press up with your arm. Each time you lower down, you wanna reset that blueberry spine. Nice job. <laughs> hey, we have to have something to think about, right? To challenge ourselves, to challenge our bodies. This is definitely challenging for me. Up and lower down. I think that's about 10. Good work. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Maybe let's do a quick reset with a couple of regular double leg bridge lifts. And if you're more comfortable doing double leg bridge lifts, please go right ahead and do that with a single arm press just to challenge yourself. 
We're gonna take it to the right side with our chest press and we're gonna use our left leg this time. So let's find blueberry spine, let's extend the right leg and we're gonna lift and press. Now one of the secrets for this one that's gonna be challenging is really maintaining contact with both shoulders. And if it helps you to hold on to the other weight with the other arm because that gives you the opportunity to sort of glue your back down on the other side, that's great. Oh my gosh, I'm getting confused. Which side did I just do? <laughs> I think it's the right side. The right side is pressing, the left leg is coming up off, the, the left glute is coming off the floor. Um, great job, whatever you did there. If you got Flossum like me, that's A-OK. -okay. Just keep moving, it's all good. It's about all or something, not all or nothing. That's why I don't want you to feel bad if, you, if you're following one of my meal plans and you're like, oh, I didn't do it perfectly today or for a week, it's okay. You have the resources, you have the tools, you can just pick right back up where you left off and just keep on going. That's what it's all about. We're always a work in progress, every single one of us. Last one, lower down, nice work. You can set those weighted objects aside. We're gonna go ahead and come to, we're gonna work on our hamstrings. So put your hands behind you, roll your shoulders back, dig your heels down, from here, pull yourself up into a reverse tabletop. Pull up into that reverse tabletop. Now, if this is uncomfortable for your wrists, one thing you can try is having your hands in soft fists, which will help align you. I also want you to really squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Another thing that can be helpful is just balancing your upper body against the side of your couch to just take the pressure off of your hands and wrists if that's uncomfortable, and just use the power of your glutes and hamstrings to pull you up into this reverse tabletop. Now you can stay here with a double leg, or if you wanna join me, go ahead and work on alternating each leg. Now the way that you're gonna get the most out of this for your hamstrings is by really digging your heels down into the mat. Oh, really pull yourself up and forward. Be mindful of keeping that back nice and engaged, that core nice and tight, your shoulders squeezing back together, keeping that chest open, head is nice and neutral. You've got three, three, and if you're doing double leg and you got tired, you can stop, two, and two. Last one on both sides, one, and whoo, one, amazing work. Okay, all the way back down onto your back, Reactivate blueberry spine, and we're gonna go side to side. Lift your upper body up slightly. Keep your hands on either sides of your ankles. You can work towards reaching for alternating angles, ankles with your hands as you rock from side to side, keeping your upper body up. Nice, you can have your palms up or palms down. And if this is really challenging for your neck, if you feel like it's hurting, go ahead and have a little contacting pressure behind your head to help stabilize you. That's totally fine. Come on, up and back and forth. Back and forth, keep your chest up. Last five, four, three, two, one. Relax your head and neck down. Now we're gonna do scissors, so let's check in. Yesterday or the other day, you worked on blueberry spine activation and you checked in. Are you good with having your knees come up or straight legs? Your choice. So from here, I want you to tap your toes down with your knees bent and the more you get strong, the more you'll be able to extend those angle of your legs out farther and farther, depending on whether or not you can keep your back activated towards the mat and blueberry spine. So just play around with that now. Extend the legs out just a little farther each time as if you were just walking in and out. And if you are good, find your sweet spot, find your zone where you can keep your back activated without it lifting. And for some of you, it's gonna be straight legs. For some of you, it's gonna be right here. Be where you're at. Don't force yourself to do a thing that's gonna hurt you. Please, just stick with your body, be with your limits. Great job. You will get stronger this way safely. Now I want you to crisscross your feet. So if your knees are bent, crisscross your feet like this. If your knees are straighter, crisscross your legs like this. Crisscross. <sighs> Come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, full body roll-ups. So you're gonna have your knees slightly bent. We did something really similar to this the other day. We're gonna do it again. Arms are gonna come up overhead. 
and we're gonna roll all the way up, reaching for our feet. And as we come down, you're gonna either lift your knees up or you're gonna lift your straight leg up. Reach for your feet, roll all the way down, slowly being mindful of blueberry spine. Lift, straight legs or knees. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Don't cheat, don't use the momentum. <laughs> You want to really let your core do the work. So let the legs lower down and then reach and then lower all the way back down on your back and then lift the knees or lift the legs. You're doing amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's do three more. Last two. Here we go. We're coming up on the last one. Last one and release. Come on over onto your forearms. We've got one last sequence before I let you go for today. We started a little bit late, so I am gonna give you a little bit of extra bonus stuff. Come down onto your elbows. So you're in a tabletop position, but with your elbows down. We're gonna extend our left leg back behind us. We're gonna keep a nice stable core, and we're just gonna lift that leg straight up behind us, just finishing everything off, putting it all together, just a little lift lower. You were here in a very similar move in the very, very beginning of this workout, so we'll just finish it up strong. Nice job, now bend that knee, flatten that heel, press your butt up towards the ceiling. If you're more comfortable, you can come up to tabletop. I find it easier to isolate my torso and keep my back flat from this position. So see what feels good for you. You have options, it's your body. Take care of it in a way that feels good for you. Pressing that heel up to the sky for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, gaze is neutral, don't look down, four, three, two, one. Amazing work. We're gonna do that on the other side. Straighten out the right leg and extend it straight up so that when the leg comes up, everything from the crown of your head up towards your toe is a straight line. There's no arched back. We have a nice flat, stable back, a nice engaged core. Amazing work. Come on, let's go. You got this. You showed up, you got this far. You're gonna finish it strong. Last three, two, one. Bend the knee, flatten the heel. Press towards the ceiling. Press, 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 press it up. Great work. Last little bonus booty squeeze, getting everything out of this workout that we can. So good, so strong. Come on, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and stretch the butt out. So come to a kneeling position and sink your butt over to the left side of your heels. See how that feels. Amazing work. Hold this position briefly. Let's just feel this. Let that feel good. Let that stretch out your side booty. Nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and come over to the right side, stretching out the right side of our glutes. I'm just checking to see what our workout is for tomorrow. Oh yeah, tomorrow we've got total core domination. So that's gonna be super fun. That'll be 30 minutes or less. Today, bar workouts generally, I like to go a little bit longer, maybe 40 minutes or so, just because it's a lower impact workout and so I don't get as sore as quickly or as winded as quickly, so I find that I have more to, to be able to do. Let's go ahead and do some figure four stretches. So for this one, you can either do these kneeling, seated, or standing. I'm gonna go ahead and do them down on my back which is the other way. So you're gonna cross your ankle over your knee. You can also do this seated, right? So you sit down and you cross your ankle over your knee and then you just bend forward. In this case, I'm just gonna draw my knees up towards my face, feeling a really nice deep stretch through my glute and my hip. Great work. And remember what we talked about yesterday with your stretch and feel. You want it to go to, on a one to 10 scale, say that seven is like it hurts good, but it's not painful. Eight would be painful, nine would be really painful. Five or six on your scale should feel good, right? Like you could do that all day. So it's gonna be our, we each have our own version of a seven. 
an eight, and a five, all of those numbers. So go ahead and switch sides and come to your stretch to where your stretch is a seven for you, where it feels like, ooh, it hurts good. That's a good hurt stretch. And hold the stretch until it starts to go down to like a five or six where it just feels good, right? That's usually how I think about my stretching. So this is just a nice way to sort of finish up your workout to sort of bring your body and mind back into neutral. Um, we're gonna go ahead and sit with our toes together, our feet together. Go ahead and extend out through your, your knees, butterfly a little bit, nice, nicely done. Great work. And let's go ahead and extend out through the legs. Hinging forward, bending forward. Beautiful work. Go ahead and walk it over to your right leg, reaching for your shin or your foot or your knee, whatever is available to you. Beautiful work. And come on back over to the other side. Just a couple little stretches here just to feel good. Amazing work. Oh my goodness, I am so proud of you. Be sure to post your check-in to let me know that you did today's workout when you do it.